So the pressure remains firmly anchored to the downside in the euro after the market took out some key support at 107.96. This opens the door for a retest of the December base at 105.21, which guards against the critical multi-year low from March 2015 at 104.60. At this point, any rally should continue to be very well capped towards the 109 area, while ultimately only back above what is a seemingly a potential lower top at 110.60 would compromise the current bearish outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable is now within a stone's throw of that retest of that 2015 low from April 2015 at 145.66, and the market continues to adhere to a broader, well-defined downtrend. At this point, though, daily studies are starting to look a little bit stretched. So if we do see a test of that 145.66 low, there could be risk for a short-term corrective bounce before the market looks to resume the downtrend. At this point, though, any rally should be very well capped towards the 150 area, while ultimately only back above. Of 152.40 would compromise the current bearish outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen continues to extend declines with the market now closing in on test of next key support in the 118.06 area, below which guards which guards against more significant support from August at 116.12. At this point, any rally should be very well capped back towards 120, while ultimately with this market only back above 123.76 would really compromise the newly adopted bearish outlook for dollar yen. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to consolidate over the past several days, weeks, and months, though it's important to note the broader recovery structure here out from those record lows from January of 2015, and the market is favored to eventually break above the September peak at 110.50 and towards 115 further up. At this point, setbacks should be very well supported, with only a break back below 107.15 to compromise the constructive outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has broken down in recent trade with the market adhering to a broader downtrend and adhering also to some bearish consolidation over the past several weeks. At this point, deeper setbacks are now favored back towards the multi-year low from August just shy of 69, while only back above 73.85 would compromise the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So it's fresh multi-year highs for dollar CAD, this time plus 12-year highs as the market has broken easily above the 2004 peak at 140.07 to trade well into the 140s. From here, a measured move of upside extension is seen towards the 142 area, which does coincide with the high that was seen back in July of 2000 and th uh, 2003. That high was at 141.96. Look for any setbacks to be very well supported now ahead of 138 with only a break back below 138 to compromise the immediate topside pressure. Overall, even if we do see a break below 138 into a correction, the market trades within a highly constructive structure and should be very well supported into previous uh, resistance now turned support by that September peak at 134.57. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has broken down in recent trade after stalling out yet again into the 69 area and head of 70, with the market clearly still being confined to a well-defined downtrend and favoring deeper setbacks, potentially back towards that August multi-year low in the 62 area. At this point, only a break back above 69 would compromise the bearish outlook for Kiwi dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to show signs of the formation of a major top following this latest breakdown below 2000. At this point, look for deeper setbacks in the sessions ahead to take this market down towards next key medium term support in the 1870 area. At this point, any rally should continue to be very well capped towards the 2070 area, while ultimately only back above 2117 would compromise the bearish outlook and open the door for a retest of the 2137 record high from May 2000. 15. Gold. So gold continues to show signs of wanting to base out from those multi-year lows that were set recently back in the month of uh, of December, early December 2015, and the market will need to now establish above 1100 to confirm the possibility of a base and accelerate gains. At this point, though, while the market holds below 1100, there is risk for a bearish consolidation and breakdown below those recent multi year lows towards psychological barriers at 1000 further down. But right now, it does look like the market wants to base out, and we'll get some confirmation initially on a break back above the 1090 area, but certainly on a close above 1100. That's all for now.